Hey y'all, this is Jeremiah, pastor at Centennial ARP. Thanks for tuning in for today's video devotional, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 1. Better is a dry morsel with quiet than a house full of feasting with strife. Uh, this proverb is uh, uh, really nice because it's a simple illustration of an enormous issue that humanity has. And uh, that issue is emphasizing the wrong things, uh, uh, allowing greed and uh, jealousy and envy, um, even, even some baser level things like... Uh, even just like anger or frustration to, to bleed in and begin to control who it is that we are rather than uh, our, our soul, our spirit-informed conscience as we follow after God. And, and so uh, the simple illustration is, is very straightforward. Uh, it's better to have a crumbly piece of bread uh, with, with hardly any water to wash it down than a giant uh, Thanksgiving feast if alongside of that Thanksgiving feast comes a whole lot of sin and a whole lot of terrible things that, that warps who you are and that causes you to be that which, uh, uh, that which you shouldn't be and causes you to go to those places that you shouldn't go, right? So it's better to, uh, as Jesus might say, walk down that path of righteousness into the heavenly places with no eyes uh, than to have both of your eyes and to have let them stray as you walk towards that fiery place of damnation, right? He, he says that it's better to go into heaven uh, plucking your eyes out, right? And it's such a, that's such an extreme illustration, but, but it's because Jesus' emphasis was right. He, he was emphasizing the heavenly places. He was emphasizing God and, and glorifying God and worshiping and serving and honoring God. And so Christians, I ask you today, would you agree with that? And then you have to take the next step. Because as Christians, the Sunday school answer, of course, is yes, I agree. Yes, I agree that it's better to have a dry morsel with quiet than a house full of feasting with strife. I agree. Then why do you have a house full of feasting with strife? Uh, why is your life filled with strife? Uh, why are your eyes still wandering, maybe? It's what, uh, you, you know, if you wanted to kind of take Jesus's words or uh, in another place with, that Jesus is, is trying to help his disciples to see just exactly what's going on. He says, it, it's, it, it's not good if the man gains the whole world, but loses his soul in the process. Uh, and, and that's what we can do is, is we can go after all of these quote unquote good things uh, until we are drowned by good and we find ourselves on a path of destruction. Uh, what does it mean for you to take a step back from even the good things for a moment and to consider what is it that I'm doing to serve the Lord? What is it that I'm doing to grow in the Lord? How am I emphasizing the Lord? This isn't a pastor question. This isn't a Puritan question. This is a Christian question. And so if you are one who confesses in the Lord Jesus Christ, take chapter 17, verse 1 of Proverbs very seriously, because it is a deep spiritual truth, not a skin level truth. Better is a dry morsel with quiet than a house full of feasting with strife. May we be ones who are not uh, in a place of strife, but in a place of quiet, a place where uh, indeed the Lord Jesus has not said to the waters alone, but to our very souls, peace, be still, where we can see the Lord for who he is, confess in his name, and be saved. May we be ones who are true to our confession, and may we think about that today in devotion to God.